This is going so well. Have you put the cards away yet, Ben? Uh, nearly small. Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world! <laughs> you haven't put those cards away yet, Ben. Sorry, Small, but I was just trying to finish making my house of cards. And you have. It looks great. It might get in the way of the cooking, though. Oh, yes, you're right. Are you going to help me blow it down then, Small? OK. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> hey! Hey, I know a really good game we could play with these cards, Small. Oh, goody. Have we got time? Of course. We don't have a customer yet, do we? OK, Small, here's what we do. Right, I'll find a card like a... Oh, a four there. So now we have to find four of something right here in the kitchen. OK, let's see. Um, oh, bowls. One, two. I can see two bowls, but not four. Oh, I can see some spoons. How many? One, two, three, but not four. Well, what about cups? How many cups? Look. One, two, three, four! Yeah! Oh, great, Ben! Can I pick a card this time? Of course you can, Small. Here you go. Thanks, Ben. Oh, no! <laughs> what? What is it, Small? It's a king, Ben. A king? Ooh, that is a tricky one. I mean, there isn't a king in the kitchen, is there? No. But I think I'd make a great king. Yes, in fact, with this cloak on, whee! I think I'd make a brilliant king. No time for that now, Small. You better get your kingly cloak off. You don't want to get it caught on your spoonmobile. OK, I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? You'll never guess who it is, Ben. Give me a clue. OK, she's wearing a crown and a cloak. Oh, a queen! A queen! Oh, my, we've got a queen in our cafe. I must practise my bowing. Oh, good morning, Mum. How very lovely to see you, Mum. <laughs> There's no time for any of that now, Ben. Let's get cooking. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I came across a beautiful castle. This was the Castle of Hearts, and inside lived the famous Queen of Hearts, the sweetest queen in the whole wide world. I knocked at the kitchen door. The cook was inside. He was in a real tizzy. You see, the Queen of Hearts was a very fussy eater, and the poor cook couldn't find anything she liked. He wrung his hands and said to me, I've tried sandwiches, I've tried jelly, but she won't put any of it in her belly. I've tried apples, juicy and scrummy, but even apples won't go in her tummy. I've tried vegetables, I've tried meat, but I can't find anything the Queen will eat. Well, as you can imagine, I had to go to her rescue. I found the Queen of Hearts in the garden. Hello, Your Majesty, I said. I'm your new cook for today. Oh, dear, she replied. That's a dreadful job because I'm very fussy about food. You'll never find anything I like. What about these lovely strawberries? I asked. 
The strawberries look juicy and plump and ripe. The Queen tried one and... Ugh! She cried. It's too sour. Everything's too sour for me. I'm a sweet person and I need sweet things. And it was then that I had one of my brilliant ideas. I took the strawberries away and I made them into jam. Lovely sweet strawberry jam. I made jam sandwiches and when the Queen tasted one, she said, Delicious! And from that day on, the Queen of Hearts put jam on everything. On toast, on sausages, even on cabbage. Sometimes she accidentally put it on herself. Look at me! She'd cry. I'm so jammy! Little Cook to the Rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Oh, yes! And I think it's given us a big clue about what to make for the Queen of Hearts, don't you? Way! Maybe we could cook her something with jam! Oh, yes! But what? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, we could. Oh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Here we are, Small! The perfect thing! Queen of Hearts tarts. The Queen of Hearts made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts stole those tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> oh, well, that settles it. The Queen of Hearts loves jam tarts. Yes, she does, Small, and it's all thanks to you. After all, you introduced her to jam. Oh, that was nothing, Ben. <laughs> and I think we should make her some more right away. After all, that naughty knave did steal hers. That's right, Ben. I'll read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, we're going to need short crust pastry. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. Yep, short crust pastry. Got it, Small. And strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Here we are. Oh, um, right. Uh, OK, then, Small, we've got the short crust pastry, but the strawberry jam is a problem. How can strawberry jam be a problem? Because we haven't got any. Oh, well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Only the best for our queen. Good idea, Small, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Smells good in here. Strawberries to make strawberry jam. My favourite! First of all, the strawberries have to be put in a big pan. And then the sugar is added to make it nice and sweet. The strawberries and sugar have to be mixed together on the hob. Mmm, smells delicious! This mixture is being poured into the strawberries to help it thicken and become jam. Now the jam can be poured into jam jars and left to cool down. Lid on and it also needs a label to tell us what sort of jam it is. This is strawberry jam, the Queen of Hearts favourite. strawberry jam. Better get back to the cafe. Bye. There we are. <laughs> hey, good morning, Mum. How very nice to meet you, Mum. Should I call you Mum or Your Majesty, Mum? <laughs> oh, hello there, Small. <laughs> I was just um... practicing your bowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> hey, I brought back some jam. <whistles> oh, wow! Perfect. Jam fit for a queen. I saw it being made, Ben. It was brilliant. 
They put all the ingredients into a big pot, strawberries, sugar and water. And then it went all lovely and gooey. <laughs> Sounds brilliant, Small, but we better get cooking. The sooner Mom gets her jam, the better. <laughs> right you are, Ben. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Queen of Hearts tarts? You do. There was short crust pastry, one packet, and strawberry jam. Three tablespoons. We're using strawberry, but you can use any flavour you like. Whoopee! Let's get started! Hee hee! Hey, Ben, you'll need to turn the oven on first. Right you are, Small. OK, then. Over to the oven we go. I'm going to turn it on to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. Shh! I'm going to get some jam. Hee hee hee! <laughs> Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. What's next, Small? <laughs> oh, um, you have to do the pastry bit next, Ben. While I have a little taste. Mmm. OK, then. Here's how we roll out the pastry. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to flour the board like this and put a little bit onto the rolling pin. There. This will stop the pastry from sticking. Pop the pastry on and roll away. Oh. And I'm going to turn it every so often. There we go. Mmm. Wouldn't it be lovely to be king? I could eat all the jam in the world. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> this pastry is nice and flat now, so I'm going to take this round pastry cutter and I'm going to make two circles exactly the same. One there. And another one there. How am I doing, Small? Great. You're doing fine, Ben. Now, what shall I call myself? OK. King Little Cook Small. No, no, that's too long. Um, King Cook. Um, King Small. Oh, I don't know. There we are. Great. Now I've put this lot of circles onto a grease baking tray. And now I'm going to take this heart-shaped pastry cutter. Here it is. And cut out heart shapes from the remaining lot of circles. Like this. And there's one over there. And another one. If you don't have a heart-shaped cutter, you could always get your grown-up helper to cut out a heart shape for you. I don't feel like a king yet. Perhaps some more jam might help. <laughs> Woohoo! Now I'm going to use a bit of water for this next part. Brush them around this pastry circle. And this will help the heart-shaped circle to stick on top. So I'll just pick it up. Careful. And place it on top of the other circle. Great. I'll just do a few more. <laughs> And now for the jam in the middle. That's funny. I'm sure there was more jam in here. Small. 
<laughs> Small, it was you. Mmm. Oh, well, it's lucky I've got some more in here. Now we're going to put some jam inside every heart. When the jam gets hot, it'll spread out. And the last one. Brilliant. All ready for the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. For 15 minutes. I'll set the timer. For 15 minutes. There we are, cooked and cooled. Just popping them onto a plate. There. They look brilliant! Hey, perfect! <laughs> Here goes. Queen of Hearts tarts coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like the Queen of Hearts enjoyed her tarts and looks small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My Queen of Hearts tarts were delicious. Oh, to say thank you, here's a little gift for my friend Small, who introduced me to jam in the first place. I wonder what it is. Here you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. <gasps> wow! A crown for me! Brilliant! Oh, it really suits you, Small. Now I feel like a real king. King of the kitchen. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook forever. 